Hi, my name is Ruth, and I'll be your AI voiceover companion for this video. Many prospective Security Lake clients want to know the methodology behind the Security Lake pricing. The basics are quite simple. Security Lake charges by two variables. The first is the volume of AWS data ingested, and the second is a flat fee for converting and batching objects into Apache Parquet. For most AWS sources, this is a regressive tiered pricing model that starts at $0.25 cents per gigabyte and reduces to $0.05 cents per gigabyte as more data is ingested. The only exception today being CloudTrail logs like management and S3 data events are $0.75 cents per gigabyte. It's important to recognize that this is the same price that CloudTrail charges today to write data events to S3. To clarify that, CloudTrail charges $0.10 cents per 100,000 events and Security Lake bills $0.75 cents per gigabyte. But when converting the average size of the event to number of gigabytes, they are equal. One org-level CloudTrail is required, so Security Lake can perform cross-account and multi-region collection, but the first copy of the organizational trail is free with CloudTrail. In many cases, customers can recognize savings by deduplicating their account level trails, writing once to S3 using Security Lake, and then managing access to the central data lake using Lake Formation. There is a blog on how to do this, which I will share in the description of this video. Security Lake does not charge for non AWS log ingestion. Your Security Lake bill will not increase when bringing third party logs through the custom source feature. There is an expansive list of Amazon Security Lake partners that both support OCSF and have a documented Security Lake integration. If the logs are not in the OCSF schema, then they need to be transformed either by the Security Lake user or by leveraging an ISV, a GSI, or AWS professional services. Leveraging a third party eliminates the need to have an internal team manage these pipelines and mappings. Any logs that come into Security Lake through the custom source function will not increase the Security Lake bill. This model is to prevent customers from paying for the same logs multiple times to get them written to S3. Often, customers will ask if S3 storage charges are included in the ingestion costs of Security Lake. S3 costs are not part of the Security Lake ingestion charges. S3 storage and API fees still apply. However, included in the conversion fee is significant compression. Security Lake will compress logs by around 90% of the raw volume. Ingestion fees for Security Lake are based on the raw log ingestion volume, but the storage costs in S3 will be about 10% of the ingestion volumes. Amazon Security Lake is integrated with AWS organizations via the delegated admin. Billing is centralized under a single payer account. But Security Lake aggregates and keeps track of the usage by account, source type, and region in the case businesses need to bill this usage back to other teams. This way the central security account isn't responsible for the entirety of logging costs, but can still centrally manage costs, access, and efficiency. Security Lake orchestrates some underlying services in your account, which are needed to perform actions between sources. S3, and subscribers. So although the Apache Parquet, normalization, and batching in gzip is included in the flat fee, there are some logging activities which Security Lake will orchestrate on the customer's behalf in their account, and this charges will appear in their respective services. These costs are nominal, and no overhead is charged. Typically, this makes up less than 3% of the cost of Security Lake, but it is important to know the actions that Security Lake is performing in your account. Security Lake sets up glue crawlers which are used to discover bucket prefixes to write data, glue tables that are used for mapping to OCSF, SQS which builds a queue of objects, Lambda functions which is used to execute a step function that writes the queue to the S3 bucket, and event bridge for scheduling automation. When setting up a subscriber, Security Lake will set up an SNS topic, so third parties know when to collect new telemetry. Security Lake has a roll-up region capability that allows customers to replicate data from one region, the contribution region, into a roll-up region. This is typically to roll up data at the continent level, so if customers use regional analytics services later, like Athena, they can query all their data across regions. The Rollup Region feature simply uses an S3 replication API 
which does incur cost for S3 API replication and data transfer out of a region, or DTO for short. Security Lake also allows you to easily configure lifecycle transitions into colder storage. Everything lands in an S3 bucket in a standard storage class, but you may want to move data into colder storage after a period of time. Transitioning objects between storage classes has costs associated with it. The general concept is that S3 storage and the associated API charges still apply and will be billed separately than the security lake ingestion cost. These ancillary costs come from services or features that you likely manually orchestrate and maintain in the organizational account to get the same level of central visibility and access to data that Security Lake makes much easier to configure. They are not incremental costs if you are performing similar actions already. Security Lake augments these existing activities and is an efficient managed logging service, so the way that it builds out these features is in a more cost-effective way. Security Lake doesn't take into consideration what is already configured for log collection. It goes to the resources and collects these events directly through the backplane. You do want to evaluate deprecating previous logging methods to avoid any duplicative costs for volume and storage. We have a blog written for proof of concept planning, which will be included in the description. Customers have cited significant savings from deduplicating copies of account level trails, deleting hundreds of Lambda functions to manage custom pipelines, and when using third parties to meet their long-term log retention compliance use cases. Rather than paying several dollars per gigabyte to store logs outside of your AWS account, customers can write these events to S3 first and perform observability. With native analytics services like OpenSearch or QuickSight, while streaming only the necessary data for real-time detections, chaining, or correlation to an analytics platform. Streamline your security operations today in a cost-effective way with a Data Lake First methodology, leveraging Amazon Security Lake. Security Lake is cost-neutral for collecting the same volume you are already collecting today, but provides a consistent schema and accelerates time to insights, reducing operational burden from security teams. Thanks for watching.